In this video, we're going to chat about open pipes. Um, open pipes are a little easier, I think, than closed pipes. Um, and they resonate when um, the length is an even number of quarter wavelengths. And I'll show you why this, why I think this makes them a little easier than closed pipes. Um, if you have a wave, I'm going to try, I can't draw this very straight. Okay, we've got our wave just like this. This is um, one wavelength, okay? And so when you get to this point, this is supposed to be half of the wavelength, okay? And half is equal to two-fourths. So that's why they say an even number of quarter wavelengths. They're trying to relate it to how um, closed pipes work, and so it's actually every half um, a whole, right? This would be a full wavelength which is equal to 4 over 4, which is even. Okay, so that's why I think these are easier, because they resonate at half wavelength. So you always have this um, this little, I don't know, it kind of looks like an eye shape here. And so you'll have half a wavelength, one wavelength, one and a half. And so your formulas are going to be, um, your initial frequency is going to be the velocity divided by the wavelength, or v divided by 2l and then your second frequency would be 2f1 and your third frequency will be 3f1. So I think these are a little bit easier. But um, let's work through a problem. So in this problem they want to know the fundamental frequency. Okay, that's your f1 of an open organ pipe of length 1.95 in diameter 0.87 meters if the speed of sound is 3, 346 meters per second. So let's write down the things that we know. We know that we have the length of the pipe at 1.95 meters. We know we have the diameter of the pipe at 0 0.87 meters. We know our speed of sound is 346 meters per second and then we want the fundamental frequency, okay, which is measured in hertz, right, which is seconds to the negative one. Um, I'll write this just so you can remember. Okay, and so our formula for um, to find the fundamental frequency, I'll write it here, we have two ways to find it. We can do the speed over the wavelength, or we can do speed divided by 2L um, with this being the length of the pipe. So either one of these we can use. Um, we don't have a wavelength, so I wouldn't recommend this one. It would probably be more difficult than it's worth. And so we can do the fundamental frequency is equal to V over 2L. Now you notice here we have an F, a V, and L, but no D. Okay, so this D, they put this in there just to kind of like throw you off the course. Um, it's like a decoy. You don't need it. You can cross it off. You can do whatever you want with it, um, but you don't need it. We went ahead and write, wrote it just to be sure, and then now that we know we don't need it, we can go ahead and cross it off and we'll be fine. Okay, so our fundamental frequency is equal to V over 2L. Okay, so I'm going to put my speed, which is in meters per second, and I'm going to divide it by 2L, so 2 times one point. 1.95 meters. Okay, you can see here that these meters are both going to cross out. Okay, um, that's good because the units for frequency is um, seconds to the negative one, which is exactly what we have here. We have seconds on the bottom. Okay, and that equals hertz. Okay, so um, you can do 346 divided by 2 times 1.95. If you want to do it all in one, go ahead, put an extra parenthesis around these just to be safe. And then um, you should get 88.72. Okay, so that's our fundamental frequency, 88.72. And we'll need this for part B and C. So um, you'll have it on your paper. So part B says, what is the second harmonic, that's your F2, 
of an open organ pipe of length 1.95 meters and diameter 0 0.870 meters if the speed of sound is 346. So that's our speed. So again, we have a length of 1.95. We have a diameter of 0 0.870. We have a speed of 346 meters per second. We have a fundamental frequency from the last part of 88.72 hertz. And then we want the second harmonic or the second frequency. Okay, so now the formula for this, if you look on your formula sheet or you look back a couple slides, is um, F2 is equal to 2 times F1. Okay, so we really don't need this. We don't need this, and we don't need this. All we need is that fundamental frequency. So we can do 2 times 88.72, and we will get 177.44 hertz. Okay, and that's your second frequency. It's really easy. You don't need any of that other stuff. Once you found the fundamental, you're good to go. So let's see part C. Oh, this should say um, this should say C. And so part C says, what is the third harmonic of an open organ pipe? Again, they give us the length of 1.95 meters. Again, they give us the diameter of 0 0.870. And again, they give us the speed of 346. So I'm going to write them all again. You don't. Um, have to if you don't want to, but um, I like to do this for every problem, and so I get in the habit of it, and that way, um, if I have something hard that I'm working on, I'll, um, I'll have this habit kind of already ingrained. So I just like to do it for everything. And we have our F1 again from part A of 88.72 hertz, and we want to know F3. Okay, so our formula for F3 is just 3F1. The formula for F2 is 2F1. The formula for F3 is 3F1. Um, finally, this is something that is a little easy. So we don't need this length. We never needed this diameter. They just gave us that in the beginning to throw us off. We don't need this speed, but we do need that initial frequency. So we'll do 3 times 88.72. And we get 266.16 hertz. Okay, and that's our final answer. Okay, so the first one was a little bit difficult. Not that bad, but we had to actually do some real math. And then the rest of these we just multiply, and it's really easy. So that's open pipes. Um, some instruments that function as open pipes are flutes and saxophones. So these will resonate at um, even quarter wavelengths or half, um, half wavelengths.